In this video, I'll teach you how to start your MEB journey by creating what you're seeing on the screen, a program written in Rust that allows you to detect transactions that are pending, transactions in the mempool. So as you know, when you create a transaction, it goes to a place called the mempool. Those are pending transactions that have not been confirmed yet. And once they are there, you can take them and put them in the order that you want to do front running arbitrage, sandwiching, liquidations, and any other techniques that allow you to create money with MEV. So first, let me show you what this is about. You can see that it's showing all the pen transactions. We can see the hash, the nonce, all the parameters that we need for us to execute a profitable MEV strategy. But this video is only going to cover how to create this mempool reader so you can get started in your MEV journey if you haven't started yet in Rust because Rust is the most effective language. So let's get to it. All right, so the first step is always create a new folder, go to your projects and call it um, Rust mempool. Inside there, you simply do cargo init, which will create the cargo project, the Rust project. Then you open the folder with Visual, Visual Studio Code or any other, in my case, I use my cursor, which is a very good thing for writing code. So we go to Rust mempool and inside there, you see that there's nothing there, but there should be like, oh, I didn't go to the right project. I gotta go to the mempool. Then we do cargo init. As you can see, we have a few files. The main and cargo tom, this is the file, the package JSON, if you're a JavaScript developer that allows you to create, to import your libraries and set up the configuration for your project. So we need a few dependencies. We are going to use eth ethers. These are the dependencies, in fact. We're going to use ethers, Togi and Togi Stream. Togi Stream is um, an async type of program that allows us to interact with future events that have not been confirmed yet so that we can use asynchronous code. So save that go to the main just to be sure go and execute that with cargo run without any other parameters cargo run it's installing everything compiling the project and once it's compiled it will show the sprint if you're not familiar with rust don't worry this is a simple tutorial that will show you how to get started you can go from there and create your own MEV bot this tutorial is meant to teach you the basics and to give you a starting point for you to create your own sandwich arbitrage or any other type of bot. Because once you have the connection to the blockchain set up, everything else is much easier. So wait for this to set up. It may take a while because the first compil compilation is a bit slow. It takes all the imports and you can see the, the hello world that comes from here, from the print. In Rust, it's very simple. You have a, a main function in the main file and then you execute the code from there. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna import our libraries. Simply go to the top of the file and do the following. Use ethers, providers, my middleware, providers, and WS, which is WebSocket. Then we need the arc and stream ext. You will see what we, this, these are necessary. We'll, I'll show you how we are using those in a moment. Then, Let's create a function. Well, let's update the main. Let's simply delete it and create this main. You need to include the this thing on top of the function, which indicates that we are using Tokyo on top of it. The starting point or whatever. I don't know exactly why, but it's that's how you do it. And then we provide this the result. As you can see here, we're creating a function called get transactions. So top of it, we simply do a sync fn get transactions and save it so that all the all the errors are removed then we can go ahead and set up the provider this is very simple but websocket it's a ws connect and this is your endpoint your rpc your connection to the blockchain in my case i'm using my own node uh, but you should get your own in fact if you want to do this properly you need a dedicated node one that you set up yourself if you want to access mine, I can give you access for $200 a month, unlimited access, as many transactions as you need. This is a very good price because others cost a thousand a month or more. 
for unlimited transactions. And when you're writing an MEV bot, you are gonna access every single transaction on the blockchain, which is very expensive if you don't have your own node. So after that is set up, have the provider. It looks like this arc new provider new WS. Don't worry about the syntax or how this is done. Just understand that this is how you create a provider, which will allow us to create an access to the blockchain. And then we have the following: the pending transactions. We do um, with the provider dot subscribe full pending transactions. This is the function that allows us to get the entire pending transaction, meaning all the data, including gas cost, value, call data, all of the all the parameters that are in the transaction. Simply I wait for that and unwrap the results so that we get the pen transactions. Then I write a console a print ln so that we know that we are starting and then I do a while loop for the pen transactions dot the next meaning we're accessing every single transaction that we're getting. And then I print pen transaction tx. That's it. It's a very simple code. We can run it. And you will see that uh, it's um, it's getting all dependent transactions. Now from there, you can access every single transaction. You can check the hash or the two parameter. But usually what you will check is the input here, input. Because that determines what function is being called and what parameters are being used for calling that function. So that should be it. From here, you can start reading transactions, start to use Flashbots to reorganize transactions and make a profit from this by creating your own arbitrage bot or sandwich bot or liquidations or any other type of bot because once you have access to the mempool, everything is much easier. Hope this has been helpful. Make sure to subscribe, join my Telegram group and see you soon. Share this video with someone that wants to get started into MEV. See you soon.